vulnerability to climate change has been a source of concern for many reasons, including food security in the region. CNBC Africa's Ulua Tosi on last Sunday spoke to Pablo Solon, executive director at Focus on Global South, and he gave us some insight. Take a look. What we're going to see is less food and people with hunger. And this is going to increase if the temperature increases. Why? Because we're going to see less water and more drier land in all Africa. This is also going to be an impact because of the sea level rise. Africa is going to lose land because of the sea level rise. That means less food production. And the impact will be that food prices are going to increase. And we have seen in the past that when food prices increase, there are uprises, there are violence. So the issue of the food crisis will have different faces, faces not only of hunger, of scarcity of water, of violence, and also of migration, because people that don't have food in their places will migrate to another place. Stating the crucial impacts of the climate change and food security in Africa, what should be done? What can we do differently? First, we have to promote more local food production and diversify the food production. The country that has uh, productions in different kinds of crops is a country that is more resilient to the looming food crisis. If we only focus on food for export, on uh, monoculture, we are going to be defeated by this food crisis. Diversity of food local food production, production through farmers, through small communities, not the big agribusiness that is mainly food production for export, and don't use food for biofuels, and don't rely on genetically modified organisms like seeds or food GMOs that will only harm more the health of the people. GMOs, it's not true that you can produce more. In the long run, you will produce less and you will affect the health of the people. The solution is in our hands if we go to a more local and diversified production of food. Now that you've stated what the solutions are, what can the people do to implement the solutions? It's necessary to first in be informed, organize and be mobilized in the communities, in the cities. If people are not organized, Who's going to decide what is best for the people is going to be the market. And if the market wants to sell this kind of food, they paint that food, even if it's poison like GMO. So it's important that people are informed, organized, and mobilized.